All right, guys, as promised, we're back with video number three here. Um, and uh, we're just getting you closer to uh, learning more about tax lien certificates and tax deeds. Um, again, Ted, could you, uh, for, for the ones that may just be stepping in on this, they may have shared it with someone else, could you uh, go over what we're going to be talking about here with tax lien certificates? Okay, great. Well, first of all, thanks for the invitation. I'm glad to be here. And uh, you guys are going to get a lot of ties interested in this. And all of you will be a lot more interested after you watch these four videos, that's for sure. So um, first of all, let's talk about tax lien certificates. The government, meaning the local county government, has been given power by the legislature to take your property away. But in half of the states and half of the counties, the, the county is very benevolent. And the benevolent county means they'll sell a tax lien certificate. Now that's just a piece of paper like I'm holding, that's a tax lien certificate that I'm holding up. All right, now these tax lien certificates, anybody can buy a tax certificate. Now, and the way you do that, you just invest with the local government, you give them the money, you pay for the certificate. Now the government needs that money. Why do they need that money? Because someone didn't pay their tax. Now the someone that didn't pay their tax, that tax money pays the county employees, pays the sheriff, pays the firefighters, pays the school teachers, you're getting the idea. So the county needs money. So that's a tax lien business. Now half of the states and half of the counties will sell tax lien certificates. But most people that come to these videos and do business with me, we teach them that, that's really easy to learn. They really wanna buy tax defaulted property. All right, so all the counties in the United States are authorized if the treasurer cannot collect the taxes, the treasurer is authorized to seize. That means confiscate and put the property in for, the owner forfeits the property to the county. Now, what's the county gonna do with those properties? The county doesn't want them. So the county sells those properties. Listen close now. The county's gonna sell those properties, starting bid back taxes. So I mm -hmm. go to hundreds of these auctions. It is not unusual for the county to start the auction at $100. Ooh. Now, can you buy, believe buying a house for $100? It, it happens. Believe me, it happens. All right. For $100, they're going to start the bid. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to end there because the highest bidder gets it. So whoever bids the highest is going to get that property. So all the counties in the United States, all 3,000 of them, will sell tax defaulted property. Any of you can go there and go to the auction. Just make sure you got money and you can raise your hand and you can buy tax defaulted property. Now, I've got a lot of cautions because I've been doing it for 30 years. Don't buy anything unless you looked at it. You want to learn how to do it? That's what we do. We teach people step-by-step -step process to do that. I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. Now, if you're watching me on the internet, which you are, well, guess what? The internet guy's got a new program every week. Ted Thomas has the same program for over 30 years. So we know what we're doing and we can teach you the same way. Wow. Uh, just to, um, just thinking through this, Ted, um, so uh, you buy a tax certificate and someone actually redeems it. Uh, do you have to call the county to chase your money down or are they just going to automatically send you a check? Well, it used to be um, what the county would do. Now, this is the old way. The old way was the, the people, when they paid, they'd send their money to the county. So then the county would send you a letter to say, all right, send your, send your certificate back in and we'll send you a check. But they don't do any of that anymore. Now, when the people send the money in, they text you and say, we just put $422 in your checking account. Mm. They just text it to you. And do it. It's just all automatic now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Really uh, nice. All right. If you could just, uh, you know, in this third video, just review uh, tax defaulted properties again. Okay. Okay. So every county, we got, I'm going to put up a map. And you'll see every county in the United States, there's 3,000 of them. If they can't collect the tax, the local treasurer confiscates. They take the property away, and then they're going to sell it at auction. So those auctions take place once a year. Now, every county, let me show you some, some ideas. Okay, I'll give you some. Okay, I, I picked Dutchess County. Let me, here's another county brochure from New York, okay? All right, now this county only had, they only had 46 properties. So it's just a little county, but they, they, they have a little brochure, and they, they, they give me pictures. So you're gonna, now, I can find every one of these properties online. All right, now those, the auction is going to start at the back taxes are very close. Anybody can buy. As long as you get money, you can buy at that auction. So the highest bidder will win that. All right, now some of the auctions, that one had 46. Here's another one with 100. Okay, now, now we'll really exaggerate. 
here's, here's a, a Los Angeles County. They've got 2,000, 2000 properties there to sell. Yeah, mm. you, could, you, you probably can't read that online, but, but you're getting the idea. There's thousands of these properties are going to be sold at auction, and all the auctions are open to the public, and everybody knows what the bidding is. They can watch it all happen. So there's no hanky-panky going on. Anybody can buy. You raise your hand. Now, you have to learn the rules and how to follow the rules, and you got to pay for it there and stuff like that. But we can teach you all that. But my point is, there's enough for everyone. And if we want to buy small properties, I've had people buy properties for $300 and get a house. I've had other people. I personally uh, spend up to $200,000 and bought properties because I like to buy the big ones. I have plenty of examples, which I'm going to show you one in a minute, of people buying that don't even live in the United States. And they buy in places like Los Angeles and buy online. Wow. Um, question. What states are easy uh, will allow you to get access to the property faster? Okay, good. All right. Uh, most of the states, you'll get the property immediately. In other words, you raise your hand and you bought that property, okay? They're going to tell you, all right, you're now the owner of that property. The only thing that you have to wait for is you don't want to go there and, and start, you know, knocking down the doors or cleaning up because you have to wait till it, it legally until you have an actual deed, like a piece of paper in your hand, you don't own it until the county records the deed. So they might take a, a week or two to do that, but you can get it instantaneously. Now, one of the promises we made on the last video was to tell you about Georgia. Now, Georgia is my favorite state. So I don't mm. care if you're in Alabama, Texas, Massachusetts, or Washington state. Mm. Georgia is my favorite. My second favorite is Texas. So listen close. In Georgia, they have 159 counties in the state. That means wow. they could have 159 auctions every month. Oh, my God. Every month. So <laughs> on the first Tuesday in the month, they auction the property. Now, listen close. So if you raise your hand, you can actually buy that property at auction. You could actually buy it. And they, they are what we call a redeemable deed. Now, this is where everybody gets confused. So don't get confused. So you bought the property. But the owner can come back and redeem it. Now, listen close, because this is a gold mine. This is a gold mine. All right. So if the owner wants to come back and redeem, and I'll tell you right now, 95, 97% of them are going to redeem. People don't want to lose their property. They're going to go find the money. They're going to borrow it. They're going to do something. They're going to get money to come back and get their property back. So mm -hmm. 95 to 97% of them are coming back to redeem it. When they redeem it, they have to give you back 100% of your investment. I said 100%. And a 20% penalty, not interest. All right, so now listen. I raised my hand. I bought a redeemable deed. The guy comes back in 10 days, wants his property back. He has to give me 100% of my money plus 20%. Where are you going to make that kind of money? Where in your life are you going to make that kind of money? And there's wow. 159 of those auctions. in. And there's 159 counties auctioning mm -hmm. those properties. In Texas... When they come back in to redeem, you make 25%. Folks, you've got to learn how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, you're missing an absolute gold mine. No joke, absolute gold mine. Now, I buy in Florida. I buy in New York. I buy in Texas. I buy all over. I'm always looking to get property. But Georgia is the favorite because when they come back and 97% come back in and pay, you're going to make a myth. Where are you going to make 20%? We're in a, we're in a 1% or 2% market at the bank. You can make 20%. I didn't make those rules. I'm just telling you. I'm bringing you the message. I hope you appreciate Ty and I bringing you the message. Boom. All right. So um, now, again, now the tax certificates, then you got tax deeds. Uh, what, what are the best states for tax deeds? Okay. All the states are good for tax deeds. Uh, there's mm -hmm. only five states that do redeemable, like I told you in Georgia. All the rest of it, every state sells tax deeds, every single one. So if you want to stay home and just buy in your state, all right, for example, I live uh, right off the coast of Florida on a little island called Merritt Island. So where would I like to go? I like, well, let's say I want to go to Orlando. That's 35 minutes away, 45 minutes. All right, in Orlando, once a year, they'll have a big tax lien certificate sale and they'll have 15,000 of those. But every 10 days, listen to what I said, every 10 days, they'll have a tax deed auction. Tax deed means they're going to sell the property. So that they don't wait and stack them all up for a big auction. They just do it every 10 days to two weeks. 
So mm. I can go to a tax deed auction whenever I want. So the counties, it's up to the county. If they want to do one a year, they can do that. If they want to do one every single week, they can do that. There's more than you can handle. I can assure you, you can't, you can't go to all the auctions just in Georgia. In your life, in your life, you can't do it. Okay. All right. Wow. All right. Um, well, uh, if you're going to pursue this, do you need to have a, an attorney or a broker to actually bought, buy uh, default tax defaulted properties or tax yeah. lien? Yeah. Um, actually, you, this, this was all invented uh, 200 years ago. And the reason they invented it is because people, you know, they run into trouble. So let's say you're a farmer and had a big storm and all the corn got ruined. So now you can't sell any corn. So if you don't have any money, you're not paying your taxes. So that's that's the, where the business comes from. So it was made for the little guy. Okay, where the county would like to sell all these properties or sell the certificates is right in their own county, and so your own county needs money, and so that's why they're selling these properties in that county. So you don't have to have an attorney. You don't have to have a title company. You don't have to have any uh, anybody else. Once you learn to do this, you can raise your hand at the auction, learn how to pay them. There's a certain person. Uh, procedures to do that the right way. And then they're going to issue a deed uh, where most people have trouble and they have, always have trouble. People have trouble in real estate because they don't know how to sell it. We're actually experts at teaching people how to sell. So we teach you systems where we're going to buy it low at the auction. We're going to sell it low to a, a renovator, a fixer upper couple or a flipper. We're going to sell it to them so we get our money quickly. So we're really assertive marketers and we know how to sell it. But the little guy can do this. And I have people from all over the United States and outside the country. And in a minute, I'll show you someone in Costa Rica buying in Los Angeles. Ooh. So you can do everything I talk about, everything online. Wow. Okay. So let me just give you a scenario here. Say someone has 50 grand, maybe $75,000. Um, should they just buy a couple of properties or try to buy a lot of small ones? I would, I would tell them if they've got, that's a, that's a lot of money to get started. So if they've got 50 or 75 grand, uh, they're, they're going to have a lot of choices. So I would buy, I would buy a couple of, of different properties with that because you'll be able to easily do that. Many of these, many of these properties that have values under 200,000, they're not going to have huge taxes. They're going to have taxes in the neighborhood of, of, of 10 to $15,000. So you might be able to buy two or three of those properties. Now remember, Every auction is going to have a tax assessed value, but that isn't where the auction starts. It starts at the back taxes. So let's say you can get a $200,000 property for 20 cents on the dollar. That mm -hmm. means you spent $40,000. All of the margin belongs to you. All of that margin. So I would do them one at a time and do those. But if you've got 50,000 50, bucks and you're getting started, man, you're going to go out and kick some butt, I can tell you. Wow, yeah. That's a war chest to start with. Yeah. All right. Um, what What's the cheapest you ever seen um, someone get a tax defaulted property for? Oh, you're going to go into shock when I show you this. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Well, I told you a little while ago that I had a guy that bought one in Alabama. He was a newspaper editor. He mm. spent $300. He bought a property, rented it out for, for $5,000 for the year, did a little touch up on it, whatever. So, so that was pretty good. But yeah. I have a client that's right over there in, in Georgia, and uh, he got so good at this. I said, "Can you come and start teaching classes?" Because I do a, every uh, every every fourth month. I do excuse me every third month. I do a class, uh, a three day class. Uh, anyway, so I said, "Well, you come in and we'll spend all day just talking about see how cheap we can get a property." And he bought a property. It's so low that you'll just be in shock on this. So I just want you to watch this video, and you'll see he bought the property so low. Well, for you and I could buy dinner at Denny's for what he paid for this property. Here it is. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal. That he bought a property 
for sixty-seven dollars and oh. sold it for twenty thousand. Oh wow! Oh, so Ty, oh. you and I don't get those deals, but my students get them. I don't get any of those deals. I always have to do what I te- what I teach. But that guy, sixty-seven dollars. We can't we can't get dinner at Denny's. You and I, yeah. no way. Yeah, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh- I got you. Uh, so I would assume if uh, if we uh, pick up a tax deed situation, now we're responsible uh, for the utilities, or am I thinking wrong on that? No, no, you're right on. Actually, when you buy at a tax defaulted auction, the government, meaning the county, is going to transfer ownership to you. So now you own it, so you will have to pay taxes next year if you still own it. And if you if you bought a house, and you turn the power on, you're going to have to pay electrical and you have to pay your own water and whatever. And so um, uh, it's just like owning regular real estate. It's just like owning regular real estate. Everything that I teach is traditional real estate, except I buy very well at auctions because I'm buying tax defaulted property. Now, I'd love to show you something before I finish this video. This gal came to me and uh, she started learning while she was in Canada, uh, but her husband was Spanish and from he, he lived in uh, Colombia. So they decided they were going to compromise and live in Costa Rica. And so she learned Spanish and they moved to Costa Rica. But I taught her how to buy online. Now, this is just short of unbelievable. I'm going to put a video up so you can see it. She bought, she's in Costa Rica and she bought in Los Angeles. Now, I know you're not going to believe this, but this is a true story. She bought property at the Los Angeles auction for seven cents on the dollar in Ooh. Los Angeles. It has no mortgage and no deed of trust. Watch this. I came across Ted Thomas material sometime in July of last year, and it was just really good timing because we were just about a time looking for something with greater returns, uh, something that will give us more time to spend uh, with family and enjoy our family more while uh, you know being able to live the life we've always dreamed of. Because I attended Ted's three-day workshop, I knew that LA has a two-day auction. What happens is whatever they don't sell on the first day, they sell half price on the second day. And that is how we ended up with our lot. Uh, we paid $14,000 uh, for a lot that was assessed, I believe, 210000 You more than doubled our money. Right and move on to the next secure. deal. Yes. Yeah. yes. So we have two girls, almost 11 and 6 years old. And uh, this uh, new business will really give us more time to focus on our family, spend more time with our family, travel more. Um, for instance, when we went to King County, we, we took the kids to Vancouver because that's where, um, that's where our family is, so they can visit grandma at the same time. We spend time with them, so it was a bit of a family vacation slash business trip, which was always nice. And uh, being able now to uh, work on this, not every day, seven, eight hours a day, but more kind of come and go basis, you have more free time to to take family trips, to enjoy each other and make those memories that most people are just too busy, too stressed out to do when they simply, you know, employed somewhere and they don't have time for themselves and their loved ones. Well, there you have it. It's seven cents on the dollar. Folks, if you can buy for seven cents on the dollar, do I have a business you can make money with? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, you can. So um, I guess uh, so many people asking, like, um, now if someone is not paying their taxes, if they have a mortgage or anything on the property, what happens to the mortgage um, if it goes into a, uh, a tax lien, tax deed status or whatever? What happens to the uh, mortgage on the property? OK, now, folks, we live in a we live in a land where everything has, has a process. The process is this. When a tax collector forecloses on the property and takes the property away from the owner. They're going to advertise it. They're going to advertise it online. They're going to advertise it on a county website. Believe me, you'll know about it if you know how to check. All right. Then when they sell it, they wipe out the mortgage. They wipe it out. They give due process to the mortgage holder and say, if you don't pay the taxes, this property is going to auction. And guess what? It goes to auction and the lender is deleted from the property. The mortgage or the deed of trust is absolutely canceled. We have to finish up because we're running a little long on this one. So, folks, we're going to come back with number four, and I'm going to be, I'll give you more information. But I just want to tell you this. Every month, I do a one-day, all-day workshop. It's a virtual workshop, and I don't want you to do anything. I just want you to sit on your rusty-dusty, 
And I want you to watch from your living room or your kitchen. You can bring your family if you want. I charge you 47 bucks. So it's 11 in the morning. It goes all the way through until five. It never stops. You can eat your lunch. I have only one thing I want you to do. Try to stay awake and just keep your clothes on, okay? If you got to go to the other room, you leave your computer where it is. Don't, don't take your camera with it. All right, people do, and Ty will tell you, we, we, we yell at them, we scream at them, and then we have to knock them off because they go, <laughs> you can't take your clothes off, all right? We don't want you to do that. All right, so the point is, this is a wonderful event. I've been doing it for a number of years. People really turn out for it. You, if you wanted to learn about tax scenes and deeds, and you've got one little thing today that you learned, we're going to expand on that in six hours. I'm going to bring my coaches. I'm going to bring my facilitators, and they're going to help me teach this class. It's unbelievable. You can register that right below me. I'm a business guy. I don't do anything free. I'm not an internet marketer. I said, look, you want to learn it? I'll teach it to you. It's 47 bucks. That's all it is. If you didn't get your money's worth, call me up and say, I didn't get my money's worth. Hell, you don't even have to do it. Send me an email. Say, I didn't get my money's worth. We'll send you money back. Folks, you're going to get your money's worth. 47 bucks. Just go down there and register. Ty and I will be right back with video number four.